All right, so we're going to be finishing off these Cryo T Shock um, campaigns or these uh, images here for Cryo T Shock. I'm going to be working in Banner Snack. Um, I can't figure out how to get gradients. I have to do research. Canva's new to me. I never really use Canva. I use Banner Snack. Um, so I'm going to build it in Banner Snack, figure out how to get it into Canva. I don't want you guys to have to look around at me trying to figure out how to do uh, Canva here. Um, so I'm going to just do it in Banner Snack so it can get done. And then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead real fast. I just want to copy a design here. And bring it in here for uh, Cryo T Shock. We're going to get these designs spun up real fast. I'll just put this one, it's fine. Do this real fast. All right. So let's go ahead and get this picture swapped out. We're going to pull that picture that we did from the class earlier, which is this one here. All right. So I'm going to be moving around a couple things in here. So the first thing I want to do, since I'm going to be doing this uh, 1080 by 1920, is I want to... Uh, throw a box on here just so I know where the dead center of the image is so I can make sure that all the important pieces are in that dead center so we want the actual therapy in the image right and the fact that it's also a little faded is a little uh it's kind of well something we don't want either so we're just gonna Move some of this uh, up. Okay, good. So that'll work there. So there's that. Okay. Right now, like I said, I'm just focusing on making sure everything's in the center before I make everything start looking pretty pretty. Um, that actually is pretty good there for that. We've got a lot of white, which is good for um, these type of campaigns. Go ahead and throw on another layer here. I don't want to wash it out too much, though. That's kind of what's happening right now. It's getting very, very washed out. So, the problem is that image. And all of them though are horizontal, so it's a little tough when we're making these type of ads. Um, so what I could do instead is instead of caring about that, because where's that box again? This is what I'll do instead. Instead of trying to make everything look all white and clean like that, since I'm only going to be working with some horizontal images, there's my dead center. Oh, perfect. So that is actually going to work. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to expand this flag here. Okay. So that'll go nicely for that. I don't want to keep that color. This color might work a little bit better. Let's see here. Oh yeah, that definitely works a lot better. Okay, so then what I can do is kind of make this here instead of saying images. I mean, all this text is gonna get changed here in just a second anyways. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just say limited, oops, limited time offer. Now, and there we go. So there's that. And then I want to get this in the dead center of that box. Perfect. Oh, that looks a lot better. Okay. And then we used in this design, what was the headline? Get your $47 body sculpting session today. So we'll do that. 
And you know what? I may actually change that headline here. Um, I, I really like this results you can feel headline. I just don't know how to make that. Uh, I just don't know how to make that, but I really like that concept because um, you're kind of playing into uh, um, the emotional side of things. Um, hmm. <laughs> brainstorm that out a little bit here. You're going to use the uh, oldest trick in the book, the AIDA format. Let's take a look here. AIDA is attention, interest, desire, and action. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, I like this. Lose inches and be cellulite free. That's actually pretty good. That that's good. That's good. That's good. I like that. We're gonna do that. Lose inches and be cellulite free. Not a question. Target for $47. Boom. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to my noun project here. Um, let's say waste. Um, yeah, I like that one. I'm going to download that as an SVG file so that way I can change the colors easily. Upload this, and really, once you get that first one done, the rest go very quickly. Uh, it's just a matter of swapping out pictures at that point. So, we're going to put that there. That's looking decent. Um, then, what we're going to do is let's go back over here to our good friend Jasper. Um, We'll do that. We'll do one 30 minute session. So that way you kind of put the limitation on there as well. All right. Uh, so this is the um, cryotherapy. I'm going to call this cryotherapy one. So I got to figure out how to do is this. Is perfect. I mean, I would love to give this to you guys in Canva. Um, Uh, I just work so much faster than Bannersnack. Uh, Canva's new to me. But I want to be able to give you guys that design because that's a good design. Now, to do gradient in Canva. Let's see. Gradient, I don't want to. Let's see here. Uh, da 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 da. Okay, all right, as long as I can do, can I edit the colors? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see, we're gonna go to elements according to this. We're gonna search for that. Can I change? Oh good, I can. Can I make it transparent? is the next question. Can I do this as a transparent color? So if I can copy that code here. Um, I think it's actually this. That's the background image. Hmm. 
would be amazing if this works. Nope. Um. Well, I'll still I'll figure out Canva. I'm sorry, guys. I'll figure it out. <laughs> this is just slow me down trying to figure out how to do a stinking gradient inside of Canva. This is. You think it would just be super simple, right? Like right here in your colors, just you can do transparent, but you think that that would be easy. All right, I've wasted too much time on that already. So, anyways, I've got this design. This works. It'll work. Now, the only thing I may want to do is maybe go with a slightly lighter color on that, actually. Might be a little too dark for the overall light, lighter design that we have going on here. Oh, that's better. Okay, I like that. That's better. I mean, I could even also, with this text, go with more of a, a gray. I actually got that sitting in a, uh, got that color sitting somewhere else. I'm going to grab that color real fast. But that gray should actually help tie things in really nice, keep everything more balanced, I mean, because you've got that really harsh black. I mean, when the nice about the harsh black is it's going to be easy to read, right? So we are going for easy to read, quick, quick kind of stuff. But it might be, it might work with more of a gray. I just want to pull this exact color. I was using this on another design earlier. Just want to grab the color. Uh, got to go. Because it's still a dark color. Um, so it'll still pop off. I just want that to, uh, oh, why are you doing that? I want the color of that heading. Of course, it's going to just do that. I want the actual code. There it is. That. Yeah, that's a lot better. So much better. So much better. Not as harsh. That's what we're looking for. We want it to stand out, but we don't want it to be harsh. So that's a lot better. Okay, so now that we've got the design done, now the rest of this goes actually super, super quick. So now I'm just going to go in here. I'm going to start duplicating these. And then we'll just start pulling these other pictures that we've got. So we just did that picture, so we're good there. Now we can go ahead and pull this picture. This one will be a little bit trickier from a color perspective because we do have that pink up there in the bra that we're going to have to contend with. Um, but should it be too, uh, too big of a deal here? All right, so let's go ahead and let's load this one in. It's just going to mess up the... Uh, oh, why did it not... It did not download, so let's download that again. There we go. So we're just going to have to contend a little bit with that pink, so we'll just go over here to our good old trusty friend Adobe. We'll pull out the themes on that. Oh, that'll work. Uh, that one might work, too. Let me see what it looks like with that first color. Because that's just really where we have to play. Oh, I hit the wrong finger grab control C instead of control V. I mean it matches. Now I gotta figure out a color for the text. Uh, I'm actually it might be too light on that. Yeah. But that one, I kind of also like that color in general. That'll work. That'll work. And then what I could even do too, could do maybe that color for this limited time offer. So we kind of have a little bit of a, ah, that's better. Eh, better, but not the greatest. So what I will actually do is... I mean, it works. I just don't like that text color. That text color is clashing too much for me. So you can probably tell who that might work. So you can tell I'm kind of a perfectionist. Ah. Go back. It is screwing me up. 
I just don't want to go with a dark brown. That just looks like poop. Um, I don't know what red. Red's kind of an intense color, especially because we're coming up on that pink bra. So honestly, that color works the best for this background. It's just that text now. I gotta figure out what I want to do with that text. Um, I mean, I could just go with a dark. Just go with good old fashioned black, or better yet, uh, I'd have to go with black on that. That's just too harsh. That's just too harsh. But I could, could I go with this gray. Would that still work? That's ah, not harsh enough against it. See, we're kind of in this. Oh, that'll work. That works a lot better. Okay. All right. So we'll go with a straight black here. Um, and then we'll just do a 75. Can I just thin that out a little bit from the harshness? Ah, better, not the greatest, but better. Okay. All right, so now we're going to move on to our next picture here. This one should be pretty easy to match up colors with. I mean, technically that works as is. It's still a little harsh on the brown for this particular picture because there's a lot of white in that picture. A lot of, so, I mean, I, plus there's also some of this blue and stuff in there too. Um, so it probably would be better to do a better, either a better skin tone match or to kind of go more along that route there. Yeah, that looks a lot better. You know, and as I'm looking at this, I'm actually thinking maybe that's too big on that claim now, too. That help, yeah, that helps clean that up a little bit more, too. Yeah, that, that looks a lot better. This is where Banner Snake is awesome, because now I can just go in here paste that exact change that I just did and then pop this in. This was 75%. That one's fixed now. And then go to this one and that one's fixed now. Perfect. All right. So those are all fixed. Slightly less big on that claim now. And then we'll go with this last one. This one's got a lot of very uh, spa-like colors to it. So we're going to have to play around a little bit with that. But overall, we should be pretty uh, pretty solid on that. All right. Uh, whew, I do like some of these small colors. I just, uh, you know, this might work. This might work. If I go here, and then I could go with, since this is light enough. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That'll work. And then I could go with, I could even probably go with this one. And it'll have enough contrast against it. Oh, that looks fantastic. That looks, okay, the limited time off does not look fantastic. We've got to go darker on that. If I go darker on that, it's probably going to force me to go darker on the clip. Oh, no, that doesn't look bad. That does not look bad. And then honestly, I really wanted to, yeah, play with those colors as well. That should keep all of that in line with those small light colors. Oh, that looks a lot better. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. kind of want to go, I want to see what that looks like if I go really dark on that. Oh, okay. There we go. Boom. Done. So there we go. So now we've got these um, all set up here. Now what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and just download these real fast. And now... 
So we got all those in there. I'll go into Apex. I'm going to go ahead and just remove that one. And we're going to upload one, two, three, four. Boom. Perfect. All right. And uh, we'll go ahead and get this uh, off to you guys. So that is finishing up the images for the cryo therapy.